Hi, it's Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon. Today we're gonna to talk briefly about one of my most often prescribed medications and one with powerful downrange effects, despite what you hear in the media and by celebrity doctors. And that's the diabetes drug metformin. Metformin has been around for nearly 80 years and I've been taking it for about 15. I've also written about 10,000 prescriptions for metformin and about 99% of them have been for non-diabetics. Rarely does a patient leave the clinic without a prescription for it or smaglutide in fact, although the two drugs work by completely different mechanisms. The end result is the same, however, a lowered insulin signal and the promotion of a fat burning state. I've never changed my tune in the drug in spite of what is portrayed in the media because my patients have had tremendous success in it and for many years, whether it's an improvement in hemoglobin A1C or a reduction in body fat, and likely it's both, metformin works. Now does it temper muscle gains? Maybe a little, but I'd sacrifice that any day for better glycemic control and a healthier vascular system by virtue. Ideally, you should be muscular with a lean waistline and have excellent vascular health. These are things we measure in the clinic. So ask your doctor about metformin and see if you're a candidate. Most people tolerate it well, although some have transient GI issues. Rarely do we have to take a patient off the medication and most see significant improvements within 12 weeks of starting it. Just make sure you take a B-complex with it should you opt to take it. In my opinion, metformin is one you shouldn't skip. So don't believe the hype.